What is up everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. You guys know I've been on a mission to absolutely find the cheapest possible way of full body tracking. And when somebody on the Discord mentions something that will help us in doing just that, I get pretty damn excited. As you can tell, this isn't normally where we'd start a video, but I put up this wall a few days ago and I really wanted to see what it looks like on video. So this is where today's video is going to begin. We are gonna hop back to the main setup in just a little bit. However, just before we begin today's tutorial and today's video on hip tracking using nothing but your phone, I wanna say thank you so much to everybody that joined the Pancake Tuesday live stream today morning. I hope you're all having a great Pancake Tuesday and eating a lot of pancakes. We had quite a bit of fun on that live stream. Thankfully, we didn't burn down my kitchen. So in today's video, we're going to be using a software called Awo Track. Yes, you heard that correctly. Awo Track. And there will be a lot of Awo's in today's video, so be prepared. So without any further ado, let's switch back to the main setup. So let me know what you think of that set there. I think we're going to do meme review there later on. But Awo Track. This is something that was mentioned to me on the Discord today morning, and with my current mission of getting full body tracking as cheap as possible for people that want it as cheap as possible, hip tracking is kind of necessary, just in case you want to do dancing, jumping, or, well, whatever else. So when somebody mentioned that you can use your phone to track your hips in VR, I got instantly excited. Now, what I do need to mention straight away is that for this, you will require a PC for PC VR, and you will require an Android phone. Doesn't work on iOS, the developer seems highly knowledgeable, and from what I have heard, they're only in high school. So, good job, you are absolutely unbelievable and you put people like me to shame. So, we're gonna be checking that out today. First thing you're gonna need, join the Awo Track Discord. It will be down in the description below. That is where all the setup information is. That is where all the files you need are. Now, second thing you are going to need is a way of mounting your phone to your hips. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. So I don't know how you're gonna do it. I have some plans. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the Awo Track Discord using our phone and download what we need. Okay, it signed me out on this phone. Looks like we're not using this phone after all. Going straight onto the Discord, you want to click on downloads. Inside the downloads, you will get a list of APKs. Of course, you want to download the latest one. Currently, the latest one is version 3.1. So it's a mega link. You just click on it. It loads up just like this. You click download to the left and the file will download itself just like so. Once the file is downloaded, it's as simple as clicking save file. Chrome will ask you whether you want to save the file. You just click yes. This file gets saved. Click on open and it will ask you whether you want to install the file. What you want to click there, of course, is install. It will install itself just like so, and all you do then is click open. You will receive a menu like this, checking your sensors, telling you everything is working. The interface is actually really nice, really decent, which I, again, totally did not expect, but hey, look, then you want to switch to your PC. And once again, go onto the exact same Discord that you were on just a little bit earlier. Hopping back into the Downloads tab on your PC, you want to click on a Latest Overlay, which will again send you to a mega link. Click Download, and it will download a zip file. Of course, you will need to unpack this zip file. Then you want to extract it to somewhere. So I'm just going to extract it to my documents. After extracting it to your documents, you want to open the folder and click on a Woe Track Overlay. Opening up the overlay, you need to click Install Awo Track Driver. Now it's going to ask you to restart Steam VR. All you do is you restart Steam VR, and we also restart the Awo Track Overlay. On your phone, go into the Connect tab, check your IP address, check your port, and then make sure that the port is the same on PC. Of course, it's 6969, because why not? Your phone is not connected. Now, what you do is on your phone, under the IP address tab, you type in the IP address from your computer. Then you click connect, it's going to attempt a connection. So I could not connect to OO Track no matter how hard I tried. Turns out I just have really low IQ brain points. All you need to do is power on the headset and then it works. So now we are on compass calibration and all it's going to tell you is connection succeeded in the phone app and you just calibrate the compass. So this is actually how you'd calibrate the compass for everything, including for example, Google Maps. Uh, so that it knows which way it's facing. So this isn't actually just a stupid dance. This is actually necessary. So now we are going to click continue. 
calibration, uh, you will now see a tracker in front of you. While the timer is running, simply point the phone forward in the same orientation as your head. So now you want to put on your headset. I can see the tracker. You want to grab your phone, put it like this. Start five second timer. Perfect. So we are instantly going to launch VR chat. A controller update in progress. Wow, in the middle of a video, seriously? Okay, so as you can see now, I'm gonna stand in front of, uh, in front of a mirror. See that? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm not moving my hands, not moving my head, just moving my hips. <sighs> Look at that. Yes. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it works. And it works incredibly well with just your phone. Just using the gyro sensors on your phone. It's working. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. That is... <laughs> oh, wow. People were right. Because people on the Discord were telling me, hey, this works so much better than I could ever imagine it working. So, if I do say so myself, that worked really damn well. Honestly, I'm surprised at how well sensor only hip tracking can work but then again you know your hips don't really move that far away from your body so i guess sensor tracking is enough if this app could somehow be implemented to work with leg tracking this would blow up to a whole new level and honestly i would really be excited to try something like that out but that concludes our video for today hopefully the tutorial was simple enough for you guys to follow and cheap enough for you guys to try it out on your own. I don't think it's going to be coming for iOS unless somebody else makes it. However, Android phones can be really cheap and sometimes even cheaper than Vive trackers. So <laughs> that's that. But yes, this works, it works really well. And I am super excited for tech like this to continue moving forward like this. But without any further ado, let's jump right into meme review and top up votes in the last 24 hours. First one we have is Sag. You make a post on r slash the mystical subreddit, you get 28 upvotes. Mystical doesn't show your post on meme review. Okay guys, I see a trend here. Things are happening, okay? I think Reddit really hates some of you guys because you guys get a lot of upvotes and it does not show your post on the subreddit when I am doing the meme review. Honestly, I am so confused on a whole new level and I don't know what's happening there, but I apologize. Quality meme, top notch. This is from today's morning stream, call the firefighters. This is quite correct. This is actually exactly what happened. And I was just like, this is fine. This is just fine. The entire time, all I said is, this is fine, okay? So you know what? It's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. We made some quality pancakes, they were mwah, I bet Gordon Ramsay would approve. And yeah, a lot of people posted the funny number. A lot of people just screenshotted it the second the stream got to the funny number. And uh, yeah, we got a bunch of those, so uh, I guess quality meme guys. I'm not gonna review every single meme that says funny number because there's quite a few of them. But this, this one is quite relevant. Pancake livestream be like, this is fine, because <laughs> It was fine. <laughs> mixer at home. Mom, I want Mixer. Don't we have Mixer at home? Mixer at home. It's just me going with the thing. Honestly, that was actually pretty accurate. That is pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> but yes, the stream today morning was just... Mwah. Just absolutely beautiful, and it somehow worked. Uh, some people complain about audio only coming out of their right ear, but other than that, it was actually pretty decent. There's also a lot of memes on the subreddit currently about the one guy who joined the live stream at the very end and just started posting paragraphs and paragraphs of nonsense, and uh, everyone just decided to start bullying them. So that happened. 
But hey, look, honestly, after what they posted, <laughs> but at least they made the stream that little bit more funny. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. So guys, that is that for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. Please let me know what you think of this set, whether you want more videos like this at this set, or whether you want to go back to the normal set. And if you guys are not yet part of the community, make sure to join a Discord down below, make sure to join that Reddit down below, and we also have a Minecraft server now that is compatible with both Java and Bedrock, so IP address for that is also down below. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick merch down below or on mysticalstore.com. Now, today I was wearing Mr. Beast's merch because I, this arrived yesterday and I just wanted to wear it. And you know, gotta support Jimmy. Yeah, but if you guys want to support this channel, mysticalstore.com, we've got sick hoodies that don't put a huge ad on your body and mugs that boost your FPS by 300%. The people on the live stream from today morning would know exactly what's up. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, then make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, dig my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.